Hey everybody. Um, so I just figured out how to successfully use Keyring to encrypt passwords to uh, the host OS, and I'm doing this as much for my benefit and muscle memory uh, as I am for yours. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new file. I'm going to call it Keyring underscore app dot py. And uh, I've already discovered that you can't call the file keyring.py, so you have to um, call it something else, otherwise you'll get a loop. Um, and I've already installed keyring via pip, so I think that's pip-m install, uh, pip install keyring. So first thing I'm going to do is import keyring. All right, um, and the next thing I I'm going to do is start a command prompt as administrator. Like so. Zoom in a little bit so everybody can see. All right, so in order to to put usernames and passwords into Keyring, you have to access the Python command line, which you can do by typing Python. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, enter the command to set up a username and password combo. So that's going to be keyring.set underscore password And then service underscore name equals. Uh, the service name is important because that's how you'll, using the service name is how you will retrieve a specific set of uh, credentials. Um, so you could have a ton of different credentials and the way you identify them is by their service name. And I'm going to call this one uh, keyring app. Um, okay, so I'm looking at my notes here, and it looks like that is going to be surrounded by quotes. And then there's a comma. Username is going to be like so. I'm going to call it username123. And then another comma. And then the password is going to be password123. Oops. like so, and I think that's the whole command. Let's see, it does not like it. Oh, right, 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 so I have to import keyring into the CLI, and then I can run that command again. Okay, I spelled password wrong. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Now, um, I'm going to assign a variable to the object that we just created. So I'm going to say x is equal to keyring.get underscore credential. And then I'm going to specify the service name, which is keyring underscore app. And then um, it, I think that Keyring requires you to specify a username, or not specify it, but have something in that spot. So what I've done is do username on, uh, none, like so. Uh, you don't actually have to put the username in there, though. So I'm going to hit Enter. Okay, that looks good. Now I want to... I think I can print out the username since the variable is x. I'm going to say x dot username. Boom. And then I'm going to say x dot password. Boom. Okay, so it has stored both of those variables for me, which is great. So now um, when I go into my Python application,
I can say um, x equals keyring dot I'm sorry under yeah dot get underscore credentials oh that's singular service name equals keyring app username equals none and then I can assign the variable to both the username and the password so let's say um, username underscore var equals x dot username and then password underscore var equals x dot password and then I'm going to print uh, both of those variables All right, let's see if this works. I'm, I'm not 100% sure it will, but we'll give it a shot. Keyring, oh, excuse me. So Python keyring underscore app dot py. And there we go. So now you can use these variables right here uh, in the place of actual usernames and passwords. Now I'm going to take this a slight step further, and I'm going to show you how I also saved an API token which was important because keyring doesn't appear to have a the functionality to store just one credential uh, you have to store a username and password combo so what I did was just create another service and then store the username and password but the username will be a bogus username and the password will be the API token so let's go here Okay, keyring at, I'm going to change this service name to keyring app token. I'm going to change the username to none. It'll still save that, eh, which is fine. We're just never going to use it. And then I'm going to change the password to the token, which uh, let's call it token123. So I'll set that. And now I can come back here and let's copy this line and say y equals keyring dot get credential service name keyring app underscore token username is none and then I'm gonna set the token variable to y dot password and now I'm going to print out the API token oops I spelled token wrong here say token underscore var all right let's see if that works Oh, it doesn't like it. So, uh, file uh, line eight. Uh, okay. So, what doesn't it like here? Let me enter the CLI and see if I can print out the token password. Um, first, let's set the variable. Okay, y equals keyring dot get credential uh, keyring app token username is none. Now we do y dot password. Still doesn't like it. Did I? Oh. Okay. 
Okay, keyring.set password service name is keyring. Oh, I spelled token wrong in the command line too. Okay, well, let's change. Instead of going back and deleting this, which I don't know how to do yet, I'm just going to change it to represent what's in the system. Uh, keyring app token. <laughs> Bingo, and there's my API token. So if you have a super secure API that you're trying to authenticate against, um, you can still store the token in addition to the username and password, and uh, I think that covers my tutorial here. Thanks so much.